You won the car. Congratulations. I'm giving a random subscriber a free restored BMW. In the last video, I went through this entire car and fixed every single thing that I could find. If you missed that video, link is in the description. In this video, we are going to be choosing a random subscriber. We're going to call them and tell them that they've won this car. Then we're going to tidy up a couple loose ends and hand deliver it to them in person. But before we do all that, we have to choose our lucky winner. We have 2,215 entries for this giveaway car. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a random number generator and I'm going to choose a number between 1 and 2,215 and we're going to call or FaceTime this person see if we can get a hold of them. Hey Siri, pick a random number between 1 and 2,215. Two thousand one hundred thirty-eight. This is an incredibly generous gesture, and you deserve the best. Thank you for the opportunity to even enter in this giveaway. So grateful, Veronica Del Rio, Del Real. Oh, and Daniel Del Real entered two below that, and he said, "Hello, I just wanted to thank you for all that you do. I ended up finding your channel through the window regulator video on an E46, and your video ended up helping me out tremendously with replacing the rear passenger, front passenger window regulator." on my sister's E46, Veronica. Your videos alongside with other creators on YouTube have made me feel as though someone like me who is a complete novice when it comes to working on cars in general is capable of tackling and completing seemingly daunting work on the E46. Keep up the great work. I really like how both siblings entered. 2138, Veronica, Veronica Del Real, Del Real? Probably Del Real. I'm gonna FaceTime her right now. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Veronica, pick up. My little heart can't handle this. I'm gonna try again. Veronica! Hi! Oh, hello. Hi, nice to see you, Alex. Hey, nice to see you too. Hey. Sorry, I was just here with my friends. We're, we're eating some food right now, but I like looked at the area code. I was like, oh my god, it's freaking California. Like, it's freaking California. Yeah. And I was like, I saw your video yesterday because my brother told me about it because he's. We have a BMW too, and it's been giving us problems. Yeah. And so he told me that, oh, you're giving away a free BMW. I was like, let me sign up. And I saw a video yesterday, and you were carrying it. And I was, this is unbelievable. Oh my you God. won. You won oh the car. God. Oh my God. Congratulations. Thank you. I literally have a 2004 BMW 325, <laughs> so it's just two years old. <sighs> Congratulations. You won the car. I'm glad you're with some friends because you get to celebrate. Oh my god, so <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god, thank you so much. Like, I'm so appreciative of this. And it's actually, we were actually having problems with our other car, so it's getting fixed on Friday, so it's good to see Well, perfect. Happens. Well, hey, I'll bring some tools out, and maybe we can check it out and we can see it. Oh thank you so much. Like, I have no words. Like, I, I'm, like, literally speechless. Hey, I'm, I'm just glad that you're appreciative. Thank you for the support on the channel. I saw your brother's post, your brother's entry, two down. So I was about to start FaceTiming him if you didn't pick up and be like, hey, Daniel, I don't want to surprise you. You didn't win, but your sister won. He's going to be so excited. Like, he's at work right now, and, like, he has an eight-hour shift, so he's going to be, like, coming home with such great news. Oh, my God. Awesome. I'm so, I'm so speechless. Thank you so much. Again, I have no words. Um... Thanks, I really appreciate it. Sometime next week, we're going to give you this car, and uh, I'll get her washed and cleaned up for you, and we'll get you the keys and the title, and you'll be ready to go. Yeah, enjoy your day with your friends. I'm going to save your number, and uh, be sure to text your brother and to tell him and rub it in his face. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will. Thank you so much. I have no words. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye. <laughs> uh, I did. I did. My goal was to make somebody else cry. I ended up making myself cry. She's really sweet. She seems like she would be a great candidate for the car, so I'm really excited. You probably thought I was done with this build, didn't you? I did too, and then I decided to close the sunroof cover one day, and then this happened. Let's fix it. Ay, ay, ay. First, we're gonna start by opening the sunroof. Next, we're gonna get up here to these accordion baffles. Peel that out of that edge there. And then peel this out there. 
Same on this side. Peel that accordion out and peel it off the bottom. So now I'm gonna take out these Torx bolts. One there, one there, one there, both sides. Now this glass should just come out. I believe the next step is getting these rods pulled out. Then we're able to pull this little rear sun cover deal out. Disconnecting this on both sides. All right, so there's these little stoppers, these little blocks, and they fit in right down inside here. I already have them popped out because I had this removed before, but that's your next step. You can do this two ways, apparently. Some people like to use spray adhesive and do it that way, or apparently you can do what's called the staple method. That's what I'm gonna do. Pull this cover back on top and then just staple it down across the sides. But first I'm gonna scrape up all this old glue. This pattern got pretty hammered. We'll see if it'll clean up. So I just got a little home office stapler. I'm just gonna lay a bead of staples down. So I had to do this process twice and you'll see why here very soon, but the staple technique actually worked great. Uh, the only reason why I had to redo it was this fabric made way too much contact with all that glue and it pretty heavily stained it. I tried to clean it with Compressed air, isopropyl alcohol, upholstery cleaner, but there was no saving it. So luckily I found a solution. Ooh. Oh. So I went to Joanne's last night. I picked up some fabric, tried to color match it as best I could. It's slightly off, but I think it'll be a nice little touch. Looking pretty good. I'm quite proud of myself on this one. Now we gotta drop these little pins back in, these little blocks. Okay, now we go back up. All right, glass going back on. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that match. That looks great. Action's well, no staples visible. What do you think? Pretty slick. That's just a little bit of water from cleaner. That'll dry out, but I am quite happy with the results. That turned out really good. Now the giveaway car is getting a new battery as well. This thing has been a little slow to crank and last couple weeks I've been driving it. The uh, battery life hasn't been doing that well so we're gonna throw a freshie in there. These batteries are kind of a pain. They're pretty buried. Also someone put an AGM in here and this car does not need an AGM. battery goes in nice fast crank 
Okay, now we got ignition on, ISTA plugged in. Okay, now we are into ISTA. Here's some of the faults I was looking at. Power management battery, battery exhausted, everything else just battery related. What I'm gonna do now is go into service functions and then body, and then we're gonna go to voltage supply, go to battery, register battery replacement, ABL, register battery replacement, register battery exchange, continue, and it needs a 90 amp hour battery, and it is a non-AGM. If it was an AGM, it would say it right here. Now the guy Ed O'Reilly was insisting that I was buying the wrong battery. He said, oh, it says here that you're gonna need an AGM, you need an AGM, but I went into ISTA beforehand, I double checked that it was a standard lead acid and that it needed a 90 amp hour, and so I bought an H8 non-AGM. Now we exchange battery, same capacity. Is it factory BMW? Nope. Continue, battery exchange is entered, and we are good to go. It even set the date and time for me. So that is the proper way to replace a battery and register it afterwards because it's important. All right, now it's time to put her up. We got another job to do. Now last episode when I was topping off the fluids in this car, turns out it just dumped its guts with washer fluid. There was a break in the system somewhere. So I ordered a washer filler net because that's usually the first thing to break and it leaks as you pour it down. But after I pulled the cover, I realized that the tank was broken. So today we're going to be replacing the tank. You can get this fender liner out of here. You don't just want to yank it real hard. It's got this folded lip that seals up into the fender. If you pull too hard, you can actually crease and bend your fender. Ask me how I know. Because I've done it. Once the fender liner's out, the next thing you need to do is remove the side marker because it will prevent you from pulling out the washer tank. Now we can pop out the filler neck hose, pull this tent, and that's pretty much all of it. Now this is going to be a little different if you have the headlight washer system. I believe it has an extra pump and some more wiring and hoses, but it's relatively the same process. Here's the connector for the pump. This is for the windshield washer level sensor. We got to DC this little clip because that wire runs up to the side marker connector right here. Pop this hose off of the washer pump or you can take the whole pump out itself. You can tell this thing was really busted up on the nose so that's where I think my leak was coming from. Either way, we got a new tank. I picked these up online from FCP Euro. Let me get you a part number. There's your part number if you're curious. Replacement filler neck to go with it. Hopefully this one will last another 20 years. So we'll take the old pump out of the old bottle. We're gonna reuse that. So a common failure point on these BMW washer pumps is they have these screens. People use all these colored additives for washer fluid and it gels up and it plugs up these little screens. So you can get replacements online or you can just take some brake cleaner and spray them out. That's what I'm gonna do. Drop this pump back down. The other thing we need to swap over is this washer level sensor. It's just a quarter turn and it doesn't hold fluid so you don't have to worry about any gaskets and you just quarter turn that in. And you just kind of wiggle it around up in there. It'll find its home. There's like this horn on the back top of it and there's a slot that it goes into. Back in the fender, back here. All right, next we're gonna go into the hood and do the filler neck. Now under the hood, you got this washer filler neck right here. Just take a pocket screwdriver, pull that tab out. This lifts on and up. Looks like this is bad too, actually. Wonder why they kind of route it down next to the exhaust and then through the fender. But you can just pull this up and out. Looks like that was busted at the top too. So good thing we're replacing it. Cover back in. Swap that over. Boom. Clipped in. Good to go. You got a frothy, dirty little mouth. What you been eating on? Been eating some snails? Probably should have filled it before I put it all back together, but that's a little too late for that now. Tell you what though, I've been driving this car for the last couple weeks. Boy, it's driving great. 
I've really been enjoying it. I got the tires balanced, I reupholstered the sunroof, I replaced the battery, I also replaced this washer neck and washer fluid bottle. So many good things has come from this video and I really want to say thank you to everybody who included a message or feedback in the giveaway form. This channel has just turned into something I never thought it would be and uh, I just can't wait to keep putting energy into it and see what happens and connect more with you guys. Let's put some agua in here. Now last video I asked you all to take a guess on how much change you think I pulled out of this car. So I want you guys to take a guess in the comments how much change I pulled out of this car. Whoever gets closest, I'm going to think of a cool prize to ship out to you. Well, it's time to finally get it counted up and find out who the winner is. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dollars back here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 11 dollars. 1, 2, 3, 4. Eleven dollars forty cents. Eleven dollars sixty-five cents. Seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five, twelve oh five plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we found one Canadian penny, so we're gonna add that in. So that makes it twelve dollars and twelve cents. I just scrolled through over a thousand comments and replies to find the winner of this guess. And the winner is Nardology with a guess of $12.43, almost right on the money. Well, Nardology, you're getting a brand new Ventus smoke machine from AutoLine Pro. This is the newest state-of-the-art smoke machine on the market. It's got instant smoke, no odor. It's got a built-in compressor, built-in lithium-ion battery that's recharged in the back. And on top of that, it comes with the smoke flow hose, it comes with a bottle of fluid, and it comes with a seven piece adapter cap and plug set. On top of that, they're also giving you their aluminum gas cap adapter so you can adapt your smoke machine into any fuel filler neck so you can diagnose any potential evap leaks. This thing is really slick. And on top of that, they're also including a bladder adapter for you. This thing gets up to seven inches. You can use it on intakes, exhaust. With these three things, you will be all set to diagnose intake leaks, vacuum leaks, boost leaks, exhaust leaks, evap leaks. You are covered. So I just want to give a big shout out to my friends over at AutoLine Pro. They have been a huge supporter of the channel. I do a lot of work for them on their social medias. If you're interested in an AutoLine Pro Ventus smoke machine, I will leave a link in the description. And if you want to see some awesome short form content, check out their Instagram, YouTube shorts, and TikTok. You might see my face on there too. You thought that was it? Stoner also hooked you up with a gift too. Now this bucket is awesome. It has that screen on the bottom so it keeps the dirt separate from your sponges and it is loaded with goodies. What do we got? Blue raspberry scented mother of all bubbles car wash. You can use that with a foam cannon or in the bucket. Hybrid ceramic car wash. We also got a can of trim shine. We got some invisible glass glass cleaner. That's my favorite. We got some clean and repel glass cleaner and rain repellent. You also got some speed bead quick detailer. More shine, tire finish, some leather cleaner, some wheel cleaner, some more trim shine, and you got a load of some really nice towels. And there's that screen I was telling you about in the bottom. So a big shout out to Stoner Car Care for their generosity in this giveaway. They have been a huge supporter of my channel. They set me up with all the detailed products that I use on all of my jobs. And if you want to pick up any of their products, there will be a link in the description for you for 15% off. Any sales also goes to support my channel as well. Well, I got Big Bertha hooked up with a 16 foot car hauler. It's a heavy equipment trailer. I couldn't get out of the car though, so I had to roll down the window and climb out the window. And then I jumped in and hit the window switch up and locked the keys inside the car. So it begins. Always be prepared for hurdles, but I got a AAA sending a tow company on the way so we can slim jim and pop open the door. Time to invest in a slim jim. 
Yeah, I've never gotten in them that way, but I'm sure there's a way. With a Slim Jim? I've only done uh, th uh, through the door with the bladder. Yeah. I was going to attempt that uh, duct tape trick, you know, without. It's a hoax. Yeah? It's a hoax. I thought it would probably can right. break the window regulator. BMW yeah. window regulators are bad enough as is. You're on top of it. Oh, pins up. Nice. Well done. Oh, good luck with this thing. Get yeah, man. Hey, um, I actually had a question for you. I want to throw you a cash tip as well for coming out and helping me in the rain. I've never strapped down a car before, man. Okay. And I got some of these straps from Harbor Freight. They seem beefy enough. Couldn't really get access down onto the subframe. Do you have the packaging that the ones came in? I don't, but okay. I know that they were rated at least like, I think, 1,500, yeah, 2,000 so pounds. Are they light? Want, Too light? Yeah, you want the ones that are about 3,000 or 4,000. All right, I can run to Harbor Freight so and get some beefier. They're, uh, they're a two-inch? Yeah. Grab the two-inch straps. But other than that, what you have going here is actually pretty good. Thanks, Thanks for your help, Daniel. Appreciate uh, it. Definitely go get beefier straps. Yeah. What a day, folks. I got to go to Harbor Freight to get some beefier straps. You ready, Sage? Come on. Let's go. We got some miles to put down. Load up. All right, one last strap check. Okay. Looks like we're all good. All right, Sagey girl. We got the key to the BMW. We got the title. We are off. Let's hit the road, baby. Let's hit the road. made it to San Francisco. We're crossing the Richmond Bridge. Sage just got up from a nap. Uh, travels so far going good. Trailer gets a little squirrely if uh, I get a little left and right movement. I also broke the tires loose trying to get onto a freeway on-ramp. I need to shift the car a little bit forward for this 16-foot trailer. I'm not going to do it on the drive, but if I put something else on it, I'm going to shift the weight pretty much all the way forward. Other than that though, we're doing good, 55, 65 the whole way down. Pretty much raining all the way from Oregon to uh, San Francisco, but looks like we finally just got a little break. Eating some snacks, Sage is enjoying the sights. We are well on our way. I also had the ratchet straps pop loose while I was still on the 101. Long story short, the ratchet strap didn't have a good enough of a bite on the axle straps, but I was able to break them loose, reconfigure them, and Ratchet straps have been strong since. I definitely advise that you get out like once an hour, walk around the entire trailer, check all the straps, check your hitch, make sure everything's still there and in good shape because uh, these ratchet straps opened up quite a bit while I was driving. They didn't open up, but there was enough slack for them to pop off the axle straps. So things can shift quite a bit with all the vibration from the road. We're gonna keep blasting. It's noon now, forecasted to make it to Orange County by about 7.30, call it 8 p.m. See you then. About 10, 11 hours in, about to climb our first grade. Wish me luck. <sighs> 14 hours and 800 miles later, I made it to Orange County. What, man. what a drive. Yeah. <laughs> Howdy. Made it. I made it. Good. Where's the dog? Sweetheart. 
Bart. How Hi. are you? Good. <laughs> Good to see you too. There you are. Yeah, what a pretty girl. Her family wants. Whoa. I'm excited to drive that tomorrow and not a truck and trailer. Man, I can't believe I have to do a double header and go drive to Arizona tomorrow. I should have given myself more time. Oh, I left my house at 6.30 and I just got here at 8.30. The BMW is unloaded. I'm gonna go in, take a shower, eat some dinner, visit with my parents and get some sleep. And then I'm hitting the road again to cross state lines tomorrow morning, so. I gotta get this trailer parked. I'll see you guys then. I'll see you later tonight. Get some lizards. All right, bye guys. Okay. Have a good day. Whew, I am tired, but we got some more miles to do. I got about another six hours of driving, so let's go throw some fuel in this thing and hit the road. Driving this car right now feels so good. After 14 hours of towing in my Duramax with you know, like six, 7,000 pounds behind me, just jerking down the highway doing 60. It feels so good to have this suspension, speed, acceleration of this car, not to mention it's clean, it smells great. Ugh, I think today's driving is gonna be a lot easier on me. Dad threw a wash on her this morning for me. Got the glass cleaned up, feeling way better about driving her now. She's looking great. Palm Springs on the 10 highway, but we're not stopping in Palm Springs. We got some miles to cover. We just crossed state lines. We are now in Arizona. Still heading east on highway 10. Got a couple more hours to go. Site. Just stopped off for a leak in the Arizona desert. We're still hitting Highway 10 East. I love the desert after we get some good rain. It all starts to pop up green and just beautiful. I used to spend a lot of time in the desert between Bullhead City and Arizona. My parents had a desert house out there for some time. I even got a uh, Arizona inspired tattoo. Uh, I love the place. Ready to get back on the road. Got a couple more, uh, couple more hours of driving to do. Well folks, we've made it to Phoenix, Arizona, but I still got another 45 minutes to go. I'll see you there. Well, I tried to put a bow together for the winter. Bought this off Amazon and right around the corner from the house, I thought I'd assemble this, but the bow broke. So we tried, but it was a fail. All right, let's go deliver this car. Two minutes away. Hi. I made it. This is your new car. It looks so good. Is this Daniel? Yeah. Hey, Alec, great to meet you. How are you doing? Great to finally meet nice you too. Meet you too. Yeah, come take a look. It's yours now. We got the title. We're gonna get it signed over to you. And I just got into town. Yeah, I got a little dirty from the drive, but uh, it still is a pretty clean car. I'm just happy you like it. Hi. Is this the whole family? Yeah. And Kiwi. And Kiwi too? 
So we got Veronica and Daniel. Hi, what's your name? Nicolasa. Nicolasa? Uh -huh. Nice to meet you. It's okay. What's your name? Linda? Brenda. Brenda. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, here's the key. It's yours now. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. I saw your story about working on her three series and I'm like, oh, it's perfect. Sounds like it's going to go to some perfect people. He's given me so many problems. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, crankshaft position sensor? Yeah. Have you been doing the work on it? It's pretty hard to get to. Yeah, I heard it's a pretty tight space. It's not a very easy job. You know, it can be a little challenging. But yeah, what do you think? It's so nice. It looks like brand new. It's been newer than Duke. It's 2006. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty modern looking car for 2006. AC's ice cold, so it should do good for you in the Arizona summers. The heat works really good too, so yeah, we could probably fit fit the whole gang and, and go for a ride together. I would probably say taco spot. I have a lack of good tacos up home. Yeah? Yeah, we're too far away from the border. There's no good Mexican food. Oh, there's a lot of good Mexican food. Because I grew up in Orange County. I grew up in San Clemente. So we had some pretty good Mexican food down there, but I've been missing it a lot. Well, let me show you around the car real quick. I'll show you some other details. Glad the families here. Get to meet everybody. It's cool. I've been looking forward to coming out. Still feels a little surreal, huh, that it's yeah. all happening. Yeah. Once I got the call with when I was with my friend, I was like, I called my sister first because I thought it was worth it. Yeah. She didn't believe me. It just felt so <laughs> it felt too good to be true. <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, Yeah, we're getting a new car. And then it's like I won the giveaway and I was <laughs> I still couldn't believe it. Like I still kinda don't believe it, but like Yeah. No, we're here. Yeah, we're here. yeah. it's your guys should give you no problems. It should be a nice, reliable car for you guys. Of course, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get to meet everybody and, and meet some cool viewers and, you know, to pass this car <laughs> off to, to somebody that's going to appreciate it. What's the dog's name? Kiwi. Kiwi? Yeah. Chihuahua? Yeah. Shaky Chihuahua. What? Very cold. Even they, always shake. Shake. They, they always shake. They always shake no matter what. Chihuahuas are always shaking. Is this your primary driver right now, the, the 3 Series? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it's got a flat. Yeah. We haven't Altima's been parked for a while. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, the van with my dad, she passed away, unfortunately. Oh, dad passed away? I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. It's okay. I think it was, we've made peace with it now. Yeah. It's been like two years. But he was senior year of high school from a friend's dad. And it didn't work in like the first six months because it was the coolant leaks and stuff like that. Yeah. Coolant leaks. Yeah. It was yeah. the pipe from the, under the intake. Yeah. Like, Cool. Where that specializes in BMW. Awesome. And yeah, they helped like get the car back on the road. Fantastic. This one is the exact same model, just two years older. Two yep. years younger. Yep, e exact same model, just uh -huh. a little bit newer. Yeah. And it's almost the same color. Yeah. Which is funny. <laughs> so you guys will have matching three series to get around. Oh, yeah. So you got that car when you were a senior. In high school, yep. How old are you now? I'm twenty. Awesome. Okay, great. Where are you going to school? A community college. I'm doing nursing. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, nursing is a very good profession to get into. Because I never really worked on cars. Yeah. My dad, he, he somewhat worked on cars, but I never really asked him like, mm -hmm. to like, show me the ropes, I guess. Yeah. And, but no, like your videos, like, they like, like you're like a teacher. Like it makes, like it made me like somebody who like, never really worked on cars like yeah, I could like do this you know? yeah I appreciate that that's yeah. what I try to shoot for you know yeah. uh, you don't have to be you don't have to be a mechanic to work on these cars you know you just have to try and spend a little bit of time beforehand getting a little bit of knowledge for it yeah. but anybody can do it you know and so that's awesome and you get to uh, you know pay homage to your father a little bit by tearing into these things and <laughs> and learning and taking after yeah. him and and building your mechanical skill set, and I think that's really important, you know? The more jobs you do, I'm sure you probably felt like a, a good sense of accomplishment that came from yeah. doing those window regulator jobs, yeah. you know? You're like, okay, if I could do it on a BMW, I could probably do it on a Chevy van or a Nissan or yeah. something, because these are pretty complicated, so. That's one of my favorite parts about working and wrenching is, you know, even if it's a little scary at first, yeah. you get through it, 
and you feel like a stronger person for it on the other side. Just uh, be prepared to help your sister with anything that comes up. And this is for you too. You already got the knowledge on that car. You yep. know, you know yep. what the expansion tank is, and, and you know water pumps, and yep, it's bound to happen. There's always, there's always yep. going to be, there's always going to be repairs. There's always going to be breakdowns. You know, there's always going to be things that come up, but. Um, Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, the guys over at Stoner Car Care with all the detail products that I use, they wanted to send you a car wash detail bucket, but it, it showed up two hours after I left. But luckily I, I put together one at my house with some extra supplies that I had. So you got um, some car wash soap. This is supposed to be used with the foam cannon, but you can use it in the bucket too, just for regular car wash. Um, wheel cleaner to keep the wheels tidied up trim shine that's what I used on like uh, some of the black plastics or like the door panels and also stuff like that yeah you could use it on that if you just like wipe it on with the rag and then what else we got we got the wheel cleaner uh, leather cleaner for all the seats yeah <laughs> no this I think will hold up a little bit this better, seems better yes. it it's seems it's bit softer more, and those yeah. seats crack pretty oh, they, they, they crack that. pretty easy uh, glass cleaner uh, trim clean, this was that foamy stuff that I sprayed on the doors and inside the cup holders and stuff. And so that cleans out all the plastics real nice. And then upholstery uh, and carpet cleaner and tire shine. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I wanted, to, I wanted to take it through the car wash for you, but I didn't want to scratch up the paint oh. from, you know, the drive through car washes. They can oh, scratch yeah. up the paint pretty good. Uh -huh. Plus, it's kind of a rite of passage to wash a car for the first time after you get it. Yeah. And so I figured, you know, it'd be a good opportunity for you to get to know the car and, and get it all cleaned up. But all this will stay with you and I'll just yeah, throw it back in the trunk. You so much. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Go sit down real quick and get this title signed over to you. Perfect. Make this car officially yours. Perfect. So you're 20. How old is Daniel and Brenda? Daniel's 22. He's about to turn 23. Nice. Oh, he's not the doors. Yeah. We're all very close in age, so we grew up very close. Cool, that's awesome. Yeah, I have uh, four brothers, and I'm the youngest, mm -hmm. but we're all pretty close in age. Maybe close with siblings is a great thing. Yeah, I'm. I have some friends whose like siblings are like ten years older than them, but they're all, they still love each other, of course. It's like growing up with each other, you know. Do you guys like to hang out with each other? Yeah. That's good. I have. I consider my brothers like my best friends. And I think that's really important. There's a bond that's shared when you have siblings that you'll never be able to get with friends. Yeah, you'll never it, be able to replicate. It brings you even closer and you've been through things together and you've, you know, overcome things together and forms a tight bond like nothing else. It looks proper. Looks like a good spot. This part right here. This has got to be the best part of my trip. Being able to sit down at a table and break bread and share a meal with this family was really spe something special. And my hat's off to the entire Del Real family. You know, Veronica, 20 years old, two years in nursing school, a very difficult and respectable profession to get into. Brenda, her little sister, 19, working at Starbucks, thinking about jumping into their online college program. Daniel, almost 23, Spent some time studying computer science in college. Ended up taking a job in retail to bring home some money for the family. And we cannot forget the mama, Nicolasa. She works two jobs. She cleans houses and she does prep work in a kitchen for a local food spot. This family is so humble and kind and welcoming. And it's been such an amazing experience to get to know them. One thing I'd love to add about mom, about Nicolasa, is... She was so skeptical of me and this entire giveaway process the entire time. All the days leading up to me coming into town, she was just asking her kids, who in their right mind is giving away a car in this economy? And, you know, the kids had to continue to reassure her that, no, this is okay. We're not going to get scammed. Everything's okay. And by the end of our visit, she gave me the biggest and most sincere hug at the airport. It absolutely warmed my heart. She would not let go. She kept saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
and she told Daniel in Spanish to tell me that if I'm ever in the Phoenix area to please stop by. She'd love to cook some food for me and spend some time together. So I really want to say thank you to the Del Real family for opening their home to me. My viewers, my subscribers, my members, my patrons, everybody who entered the giveaway. But this isn't exactly about the BMW or the giveaway to me or the wrenching. You know, this is about forming connections with other human beings and building community and getting to know the people that are around us that we may never meet if we don't step outside of our comfort zone. You know, this has given me a new purpose and passion in life, and it's thanks to all of you, the viewers, every single one. Speaking of community, we now have a custom day off DIY Discord server, thanks to one of our members, Constantine. He built this out for me, and it is amazing. We have a section for E30s, E46s, E60s, E90s. There's a spot where you can show off pictures of your car. We have public voice channels so we can all jump in and chop it up with each other, hopefully make some more connections, build some wrenching groups in the country, maybe even all over the world. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description. I would love to see you in there. Nicolasa, Brenda, Daniel, Kiwi, thanks for letting me into your home, guys. I really appreciate it. It's great to meet all of you. Yeah. Bye, guys. There she goes. She's off. Let's get the farewell shot. Bye, Del Rials. You know, us humans, we have a tendency to build these ideas and expectations in our mind on how we expect things to look. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you can relate. Um, but it hardly ever turns out the way that I expect. Driving out to Arizona, I had ideas on how I want the intro shot to look like and how I want the audio to sound and, oh, I need to get a good quality photo with Veronica for the thumbnail. And I really didn't get all those. You know, I didn't get the best shots. I didn't get the best audio, but that's okay. And I think what's most important here is, you know, I knew that I needed to put the camera down, that I needed to put the phone down and the distractions down so I could be present and connect with this family on another level. Because you have to be present in order to form that connection with somebody else. So, no, I didn't get the best shots, but I was able to really get to know this family and spend some cool quality time with them before I made it to the airport. And I think that's what's most important. And I think that's the biggest takeaway from here and definitely the highlight of this entire experience. And I just wanted to share that with you all. We made it. We're in Long Beach. It's cold and raining. Uber for Alec? Yes, it is. Sir. Hi. I made it. You made it. Oh my gosh. Half of the hard part is over. <sighs> so, how was it? It was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long day. Did I ever tell you how many people commented on my video and mentioned you as my sister? Oh my god. I don't like that picture of me. I wish I would have known. I would have. What, the video? Yeah, you need to touch me up it was just for a little bit but I'm like oh man no. yeah you were the I beginning could, of the video I could look better than that <laughs> they wrote me a card I've been waiting to open this I wanted to open it on the plane but thanks for doing what you do she said we are in, we are all incredibly and forever grateful for what you're doing and changing our lives with this car to have been the first family to win your first car giveaway on YouTube is awesome. Your future is incredibly bright, and thank you for wanting to make a difference in this world with your kind gestures. With kind regards, the Del Real family. Veronica Del Real, Daniel, Brenda, Nicolasa, and Kiwi, their dog, the Chihuahua. Aww. It's a very precious card to me. I'm going to cherish that card. They are such a sweet family. They are so wholesome and genuine and just so sweet all right mama picked me up from long beach airport made a couple pit stops we're gonna go get some on gin if you're in orange county you know what this spot is best japanese barbecue around it's been a long ass day i'm tired i'm smoked i'm zapped the car is delivered i'll see you guys in the morning peace well gang we made it back to orange county car is delivered in phoenix and the family is stoked, and so am I. It went to the perfect people. But the trip is not over. And if you might have noticed, I came down to Orange County with a trailer. And I'm not exactly gonna drag an empty trailer back up. You know, this entire giveaway process has started to create some ripples. Someone reached out to me in the email, 
and what they offered to me, you will never believe. So I think we're going to save that for part two. So thanks for coming along. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And as always, folks, I will see you on my next day off. Cheers, everybody. Oh, give me that belly. Everybody, I just wanted to stop off and say a big thank you, especially to all my members and my patrons for supporting me throughout this entire process, you know. I stayed true to the title of my first video, Going for Broke. I really made myself broke by doing this. I spent well over $6,000 on that first video just to get the car crafted up and editing and everything else that comes along with it. And this last trip cost me almost close to $2,000 too between trailer rental, battery, other car parts, uh, you know, almost $1,000 just in fuel and plane ticket. And so I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that believes in me and believes in the channel and that chooses to support me with your hard-earned money. You know, everybody here on the screen has supported me financially and it really, really means a lot. This would not be possible without you. And it also reminds me that there's people out there that believe in me and believe in what I'm doing and believe in the cause. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to give away four cars this year. I got to be honest with you. There's going to have to be something else that I can do in order to generate some more income before I get there. But I'm going to try really, really hard to keep pushing out as much content as I can and get on a more regular basis because you guys deserve that for supporting me. Um, just going through some changes here at home and in life and getting readjusted after this trip. I'm trying to put more time and energy into these videos so the production quality is better. Um, but you know, a good friend of mine and a member on the list, Rob, we were talking about the giveaway video and I used an editor for that video and that's why it had some nice, fine, fine touch editing in there. Um, but it was missing some of me. It was missing part of my essence and, uh, I had lost my thumbprint, my fingerprint on the video because I wasn't the one that went through and edited it myself. So I'm actually really excited to post this video up because I think it has a lot more of me has a lot more of my soul and my character and my values and my beliefs and my traits. And so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks again for all your support. Thank you for choosing to support me and my channel and Sagey Girl here. Um, but we're doing good. We're making ends meet, so we're all good. But thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed or I hope you learned something new. See you on my next day off. Cheers. Bye.